Paul, this is some machine here, this cow ming. How's it, how long has it been in? Uh, we've had about three months now. And, and why did you buy it? I mean, you've got a lot of machine tools in this company. You've got your horizontals, your five axis, your vertical lathes. This is something different, isn't it? This was bought for pure production, really. To win this sort of business, you need to be able to eliminate operations, and you can do with the head going horizontal and vertical. And you can also eliminate loading times by the two pallets on the front. So you pretty much summarised it quite quickly there. What we're looking at here is a machine that can machine in a horizontal plane and a vertical plane, correct? Correct, yeah. So you're eliminating sort of operations. And then you've got the pallet loader on the outside of the machine here so you can load your part while the other one's machining. And on a part like this, how long does it take to load it? Complicated parts like these with lots of different, uh, castings especially, with lots of different bits coming off here, there and everywhere, could take at least 15 to 20 minutes to load. So if you want loading while the machine we're running, there's a lot of downtime there, you're not producing anything. So do you look at the utilisation of this machine? Do you kind of look at it and think, we need this running you know, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, however long it might be? Customers expect certain parts per week on these sort of production levels. And if you're not running while it's stood, you're not meeting their demands. And on this particular part, they want 20 sets a week with a left hand and a right hand one. So if you're not, if you're not running it, you're not getting it. OK, now, and, and the configuration of this machine is one thing. These Calming machines are available from Lead Machine Tools in the UK. Why did you select this brand or this model? What was, what was the reasons outside of what it can actually do? Uh, just because of the control as well. The control is very similar to all we had on. It's a FANUC. They did everything we wanted it to do and they offered it. And I suppose you were attracted also to the, to the quality of the machine when you see what you're trying to achieve here because some of these uh, castings are pretty tricky to machine. You're achieving some pretty tight tolerances, I believe. Well, yeah, there's bearing bars on these on different on horizontals axis and the vertical axis and to get it all done in the same way it also holds a probe for us to check all the sizes and things on it which is fantastic and same as sort of other machines if you load in between operations again you're not getting the accuracy in between we are getting the accuracy in between top plane bottom plane all the same and the the table obviously index which we've got here so you can position so there's not many angles you can't really get to is there no, pretty much all the angles. If you can't get it in the horizontal plane on an angle, you turn vertical and, and, and vice versa. So with it being a total 360 degrees moving in increments, very tight increments, it's, you can and, do it. And, and when your parts start getting a little bit bigger and a little bit more complicated, you need more tools. How, how many tools has this machine got? It holds about 42 in the carousel, I, I believe. It's all the tools you could ever want, really. And when it comes to the installation, you, how, how long have you had this machine and how quickly was it installed for you? Uh, comes in two parts the pallet load on the front were different they had it in in a couple of days basically all leveled up and it was ready to rock and roll because it wasn't your first camming as well you, you you got one behind the kmc 700 was that kind of the lead into this really it's like so much success with that this is the right one for for us now yeah that's been here for 10 15 years really and it's uh, obviously does so many different things we've filled that machine capacity with customers work and now we had the ideal situation was to duplicate it, so Manchester Director did. Well, that's right. And when I walk around the machine shop, it's quite interesting because a lot of places we go, you just see tons of billets of aluminium, you know, blocks machining, high speeds, 15,000 RPM. Here it's all castings, it's all complicated, different materials. It's quite a diverse business. Diversity is what gets you to work in it. I mean, everyone can just machine the blocks and get a piece of steel from Sheffield and get it brought up here and you machine it to anything but the castings is sort of our forte and these machines are perfect to do it on. You wanted to win an order, you bought this machine and you won the order and now you're making the parts so that's good news isn't it? Exactly, brilliant news.